Next, we have the PL. PL. You'll recall the PL stem is uh, simple. I'm not sorry, excuse me, not simple. The PL stem is intensive and active. Okay? So the voice is active and the action is intensive. Have our root here again, Kof Tate Lamed, following along. We're at the bottom of page 86 here. And what you want to look for, kind of your, your clear cut sign of the PL imperfect, there are two. The first will be a Shiva under the prefix. Shiva under the prefix is a very clear sign that you've got the PL imperfect. And the second is the sign, the consistent sign of all of the intensive forms. If you'll recall from our flannel board uh, diagram of the seven stems, that middle column is all of the intensive forms. All the intensive forms have a doggish forte in their middle root letter. Okay, so Shiva under the prefix, doggish forte in the middle root letter, you've got a PL. And the rest of the form is comets and serre. Now, you'll recall from the nifal we just talked about, the nifal has a comets and its serre under its first and second root letters as well, but the main difference is a shiva instead of a hirik, which is a big difference. I mean, that's, that's obvious. And also, a dagish forte in the middle root letter, as opposed to a dagish forte in the initial root letter. Okay, so PL, dagish forte in the middle, doubled, that doubled dagish in the middle, and a shiva under the prefix, e-a-a, -a -a. E -a -a. Another way you could think of it uh, is that the even the pronunciation of the PL imperfect has within it a kind of intensity in that the pronunciation is a sort of crescendo, beginning with a very, very small vowel, eh, the shiva, and building to a long tsere, e, e, a, e, e, a, e, yekatel, yekatel. You can hear that a little bit, maybe it's subtle, but differently, the knee fall, which is passive as opposed to intensive, has longer vowels at the beginning, and uh, it, it doesn't sort of fade off into silence at the end because it still concludes with its serre. But the lengthening, the emphasis is, is drawn a little bit more towards the beginning with the knee fall. So it's yikatel, yikatel, as opposed to yikatel. If that's helpful, you can remember it. If not, then you can forget it. It's not uh, that big of a deal. But that's the PL, okay? Shiva under the prefix, dagish forte in the middle root letter. 